openly the sai youth of andhra pradesh from the last two decades they always came up with a new venture to please bhagwan that is true whether is gram seva gurukul seva or tree plantation or housing whatever they do they want to please swami with a new venture new ideas new thoughts so last year when we came to parthi with uh, around 4000 youth they thought they didn't we didn't do anything extra we just visited prashant nilayam showed our gratitude to bhagwan but this year during november 2018 they said sir we will want to start a bike patti yatra with 1000 uh, wheels that is 500 bicycles with 1000 wheels we want to start with it then i said what is the idea behind it they came with a beautiful idea they said sir we were traveling 1300 kilometers from sikakolam to here that is the outward journey so we youth want also want to do inward journey spiritually by performing seva activities and also to transform ourselves in the best way to make swami happy so that really moved us that is a very good concept on part of the youth to think that they want to have transformation including spirituality and seva put together which swami always wanted basically uh, the bike rally has uh, uh, a very good idea mm-hmm. the awareness of wearing helmet is very important for us so socially responsible uh, movement that is the most important thing today youth are uh, suffering uh, because of accidents that they that very they encounter very high fatalities highest uh, in the highest, world in yes, india yes mm. so uh, basically the awareness uh, in the youth or in the people in these 13 districts along our way we want to communicate one particular awareness program that is wearing helmet makes you safer for yourself as well as for your family is only the first thing that is what the service first service that we did uh, along the way that mm-hmm. we have uh, come across mm-hmm. so uh, in basically uh, we wear uh, helmets along with that we have a tagline we have placards that are shown Uh, on the road so that everybody uh, who sees us uh, takes that Hel- Hel- helmet is very much necessary uh, in these days when you travel on the road just don't go just don't go on bikes go to puttaparthi and reach there it's not the mission the mission is to study people study the society and needy and need analyzing analyzing the needs of the people whom you come across so retrospectively you plan for about 6 months time so backward planning for 6 months this mission should be 6 months mission wherein first 2 months will be organizing the pilot study and the survey of the areas where by you go about 1100 kilometers journey all along the road there will be some places wherein the seva opportunities do exist so identify those seva opportunities and try to do something every kilometer that you move upon should have a, a satisfaction of coming up with something yes we did this let us do bigger this bigger than this so this way they identified about 18 to 19 seva opportunities along the route mm-hmm. and now now they have every one of them is having a goal with seva opportunities only the seva opportunities now they are identifying not just the physical service even with their intellectual service also education oh education, education. learning okay. yes learning mm-hmm. there are certain schools poverty stricken children slum areas they identified they identified villages where there is no primary school at all and those student those youngsters who just completed uh, ug courses and uh, pg courses now they are they have a burning zeal now why not we start some activity to uplift the villages set all the holistic development swami has conceptualized as a triple s vip sri satsai village integrated program in 2007 now the burden of the badge now they know the value of the scarf they know the value of the badge 
Do you know the value of the flag? The way they carried the flag for 1100 kilometers on a motorcycle that speaks a great deal about their enthusiasm, commitment to God, commitment to seva, commitment to people and the way our own senior devotees thronged along the corridors and offered them a tumbler of buttermilk with love and affection. I think about 400 to 500 youngsters, they had tears in their eyes. So much of love. And where from they can get so much of love, either from their own respective mothers or from such a sai. Nowhere else. That is, That is true. Nipada Archakala Todi Neyamu. The great saint Potana said, it's not necessary to serve the God. Serve the servants of God. That itself is Moksha Pradam. Totally. So this is the kind of spiritual satisfaction every senior member of the organization throughout this three, four days time felt it, expressed it and we are grateful for, to the youngsters who have come up with this ideation and started this mega event, I would say, Nabhuto uh, Nabhavishyati. That's the kind of Unprecedented, spirit. never done before. Never done before. But likely to be replicated in the future. I hope it inspires many more people. In a bigger way. In larger ways. So, you know, motorcycle diaries from every state come and converge at Prashantinilliam. The future, the vibrant future of this organization.
general reaction of people let's say on the highway 500 two wheelers going 1000 like 500 pairs of wheels going with helmets on and then there is other traffic also did did you yes. stop the other traffic uh, basically we have a logistics team uh-huh. what happened is uh, people from shrikakulam uh, there are 6 to 7 uh, bicycles uh, who take us along the way like piloting they piloting yeah, they you they can they escort us escort basically they go uh, before we reach any junction they go there they talk with uh, a police there and they stop uh, every place or every j- junction and they make us to move forward so you're without, all together yes without interrupting hmm. and they every time when we get a junction or a signal they will go prior uh, before us and they uh, logistically keep everybody in the uh, pace whatever that we have so we run without stopping we run we just stop at merging points as well as the places where we take food or places where we stay in the during night that's all i see so this journey of 1 1100 kilometers across 13 districts of andhra pradesh how many days did it take you it took uh, us uh, they have started on second shikakalam uh, is too far so mm. they have started uh, one day uh, early Uh, so second third and fourth, fourth. and fifth fourth in uh, night fourth, evening you reach we have uh, come to putavati i see so three days uh, three days three wow days. what was the average speed you were clocking yeah following uh, the, the average rules? speed is uh, 35 to uh, 45 uh, we cannot mention that <laughs> 35 is uh, uh, the safe limit the uh, safe limit maximum limit i can hmm. you decide to join this adventure because i i was the one of the part of the planning member i see so that's <laughs> i have to be it i see and what was your most uh, what was the hardest thing to plan for when you were planning it what were the greater challenges that you dealt with the most challenge what i feel we have to convince the parents that is one of the biggest thing but you're all grown up men yes because everything all almost of all the children they are under the guidance of their parents so we made them uh, how to express with the parents we have explained them what are the challenges we take what is the speed limit we will take or no what are the precautions what before mm-hmm. we are going there okay. we all explain in the in the systems so that the parents also convinced generally the youth the outside of youth uh, think that the such as i youth is very different they are doing only bhajans or uh, spiritual activities but it's proved that we are also doing the some achievements like uh, uh, this type of crazy activities but we are doing this type of activities with a very discipline with very sincerity with Uh, divine day with a divine way and also following the laws of the land yes, by wearing a yes. helmet and keeping the speed yes. limit in uh, most cases yes actually uh, the youth as well for success organization of under bridge has very good uh, ideas actually we came with 52 services activities actually as for a year which is we printed to each and every in the card i think Almost our Chalam brother sir having in pocket that card. <laughs> so is the state president has to be always yes, ready. Yes, this yes. week's Actu- activity. So that is most important actually. So these activities are very planned way. So what we are doing is the plan in the month of January. Suppose most of the January is a cold season. Right. So at the time we had a bankers distribution. So this annual plan is not only for financially. It was always service activities. Mm. This is not entirely linked with with only. with financially mm. so we made it lot of service activities which have low cost and high results mm-hmm. that is the one of the most concept so by this concept of today this project has been very successful because it entered to each and every root of a youth so that they are doing all the services activities on every third sunday as a youth day in the andhra pradesh so that inspired entire youth to be a part of this annual planning and as to mention this bike rally has been done by our elder brothers earlier also uh, they used to come by walk and they uh, came for cy- uh, came by cycles and bhagwan 
at every place, even the group is 20 or 10 or 15, who comes here, used to pour love like anything after coming here. So the same thing we uh, enjoyed yesterday. Experience the same. Same thing. So our elder brothers, with that inspiration, after doing uh, a unified services for last four months across uh, the 13 uh, districts of Andhra Pradesh, all the youth now who have come, 80% uh, new people, now understood how these people will behave and how these people are within uh, the stretch of 13 districts. They understood, oh, these uh, people are uh, loving like this. They are giving food. You don't believe in the Yeluru. Uh, it, is a, it was a feast. It was a feast. District President, he himself served there. And uh, at many places, for every 30 kilometers of uh, 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 what you call our journey, every place, at every place, uh, Shivadal uh, used to stand there and uh, welcomed us with Sairam. They, are, they just uh, thought that we are their family members mm. and they feeded us like anything. We didn't get hydrated, uh, dehydrated at any place. So that's the love of uh, our organizations at every uh, place. New beginning, we are trying to contemporize such an organization without losing the fundamental framework laid by Bhagavan. The fundamentals are eternal. Mm. They stand for next millennia to come or maybe many, many, many millennia to come. Bhagavan is most updated, upgraded, always. The truths are eternal and they are permanent. Within that framework of such a Sai, we would like to give the operational area to youth with abundant freedom whereby they can innovate many more such ideas. The socio-economic fabric also is ever dynamically changing now contemporarily with a lot of uh, uh, innovations taking place around the world. Yet there are about 250,000 villages remain under poverty. About 30 crore Indians are not having two square meals a day. Government-sponsored programs are giving all right for about 180 days, two square meals a day under some scheme or the other scheme. This is where exactly we would like our youngsters to get sensitized about the socio-economic situation in the country as is a bipolar economy. Richer, rich people are becoming richer and poor remaining poor or static or poorer. So in such scenario, we would like to make our youngsters get sensitized to the contemporary issues and lead a path whereby they become role models to the society, not just in Indian society, global society. Our youngsters should become role models to the global society and take up each one, inspire ten. Each one inspire ten, whereby the community of youngsters, by the time they become citizens of the global citizens, probably the world will have a, a transformation. Bhagavan's mission of transformation would come up as a truth. And that is in their hands. We have been working all right. But now with their innovative ideas, they can work much, much more vigorously and with much more planning and a greater commitment whereby many more youngsters can be roped in. So such is the idea and this is the, made the beginning. Jai yes, Saira. Yesterday, I was riding bike beside my all India president, Nimish Pandey is there. He was telling that we should plan, this is a very good innovative area, we should plan all over India. Hmm. All over India should bikes to come to Prashant Nilayam. So he is very happily is, uh, telling with Ratnakar sir. So I thought that this is very one a man uh, who is want to make that, I think definitely by next 95th birthday, I think all over India bike riding may be at Prashant Nilayam. So nice.